Um, hello to everyone from Sunny and Hot Kiev. Uh, thank you for finding your time and resources to join us in our two days networking. Uh, I hope that today's uh, program will be useful for you. And of course, it will be very interesting. So uh, now let me uh, uh, let me invite the next speaker, Andri Palatny, who will present uh, the best uh, case practice from Ukraine, which uh, arise uh, during the uh, pandemic time. And um, it is one of the brightest uh, cases which we can uh, uh, talk about, uh, talking about Ukraine while talking about Ukraine. So Andre is a producer, curator of digital projects at Google Fast Laboratory of Solutions in Digital. He is working as, uh, act, as an actor and project manager in Center of Contemporary Arts, DAH. I think that uh, a lot of you have heard um, uh, this, uh, the name of this center. Uh, and also Andre is a curator of uh, theater program uh, of Google Fast uh, Festival. Uh, so um, I give the floor to Andre, and uh, after he presents uh, his case and will show you some interesting videos and information, we will uh, back to discussion, and you will have opportunity to ask what you are interested uh, in his um, uh, in his story. So um, I. Um, uh, uh, you can write your questions in the web chat or in a Q and A Q and A part. So we will wait for your questions. And please, Andre, I'm leaving you. Thank you, Nastya. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity to to share the experience and uh, all uh, all in all. Uh, all uh, our story because uh, honestly it start from the beginning of quarantine in 2020 and uh, still go and I try today to represent the whole story which uh, uh, happened during last one year and half uh, year so it's a long and at the same time it's something that we could uh, present in the way of uh, sharing how we deal with all challenges that our two institutions um, met during these uh, uh, difficult times. Of course, all our industry which we together exist, I mean, theater industry, uh, all cultural industry, it's something very connected in this case. And we had the similar problem, the similar challenges. Uh, but I think it's very important of this time and the main value which we together receive, it's trust, belief and um, and at the same time uh, unexpected solution that we could find together, uh, continue doing what we are doing, creation art, creation art for people, try to reach people, try to build cultural bridges and uh, uh, yeah, continue our story. So now I will share the screen and we will go to presentation with several videos. And after, as Anastasia proposed, we could uh, have some dialogue. I, I really would like to answer on different type of questions from conceptual, marketing, audience development, financial part, uh, aesthetic philosophy, uh, acting school, all these things we, we analyze during this road. So nowadays, it's, it will be our first trying to collect one, everything in one box uh, and understand what, what happens. So uh, I share the screen and we go. So now you see um, the title of today's presentation, it's called Google Fest Inoculation and hashtag LCD, Laboratory of Digital Solution. So uh, I, first I will do a little prologue uh, in which I will shortly represent our two institutions. I mean Google Fest as a platform uh, of multidisciplinary uh, festival, platform which were created for international collaboration, residency program, uh, and networking, and at the same time, uh, another institution, it is Center of Contemporary Art 
Dach Theater, which uh, is the core institution. It's our laboratory where we created all our projects from Dach Abracha, Dach Daughters, Nova Opera, different performances, and Google Fest also was appeared in this laboratory. So if uh, the first thesis uh, which I would like to say, it's some, some crossroads that uh, we all have together at the beginning of quarantine. So it was last spring, it was 2020. Uh, everyone has a big plan for spring, for summer, for season. And of course, quarantine was unexpected uh, situation, which means that you can't do what you re uh, usually do. And in some way, we could say uh, that crisis become, uh, became. And for us, uh, I could imagine that this crisis, it's like crossroad. It's a point where you, you make your main solution. Uh, you uh, choose trying to find a new opportunity or you meet with all dangers that happened uh, and stop your stop your activities. Uh, of course, uh, it's very depend on the model in which you exist. I mean, how your institution built? Is it government, state, or municipal, or independent sector? Is it uh, private business uh, or non-governmental institution? So all these different model in industry has absolutely different strategy how to, to do activities. But generally, everyone, each institution make the solution to continue doing things or uh, stop. And uh, this Chinese uh, hieroglyph, this is something that really for me was uh, icon of this situation. In Chinese, mm, crisis means with two hieroglyphs. One the, uh, the hieroglyph means danger, Another derogative means opportunity. And I think it's very interesting point that give you this, uh, this uh, visualization of this crossroad and the point how you take solution. Uh, second story, this is our plans that we had at the, at the beginning of spring 2020. So you could imagine it is uh, more than 12 11 festival in different region of Ukraine. It was a big strategy we, we do last five years to make it possible. And of course, quarantine say uh, all the strategy, no, mission impossible. That's why uh, uh, on our macro level of activities, uh, we lose the main uh, the main line of strategy which in our case because we represent independent sector in our case means absolutely losing any ground for institutional uh, uh, institutional activity it means that we can't have offices it means that we can't have core team even it means that we lose all our uh, big project it means that we lose uh, the the links between all our departments. So uh, it was very painful. Uh, at the same time, uh, uh, now you see uh, the strategy on a map of Ukraine with how we deal with audience. You see that in each, uh, 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 in each region, we have the core circle of different audience. And it means that during the quarantine, it's also uh, become understandable that you lose a real connection with your audience. Uh, which usually necessary to be all the time connected. You need really to have a systematical dialogue between you, between, uh, between your product, uh, between your representatives and audience, which you try to, to, uh, uh, to connect to your networking. Um, at the same time, we have, uh, now you see different mm, core values that we have in the festival and in our institution. Uh, and for each of these core values, we have a unique program. And honestly, in 2019, I have interesting experience to be invited with ATC, European Theatre Convention, which is a big network uh, of European uh, theatre and real from my point of view, very effective uh, platform for communication and for uh, connection. Uh, I was invited as a 
representative of Dark Theatre to two very interesting events connected with digital digitalization. And these two events really changed my mind. After these two events, I returned to Ukraine, talked with our team, and we put digitalization a little bit earlier in our strategy before quarantine start, which I could say in some way really helped us to be fast of creation and do our next project during quarantine. Um, what I mean? I mean, first event, it's Ars Electronic, uh, a big festival with a huge story, more than 40 years, which, uh, which, uh, which uh, was held in Austria. And it's a platform where you could see how contemporary art connected with a different, absolutely different technological solution. Uh, and it's amazing because you see absolutely new form formats, you see absolutely new connected uh, from IT sector people, from different uh, industry uh, representative people, and at the same time, you see the people who you really connected, art people. And together, they create absolutely new territory of freedom of research. Uh, what could happen if we combine art with uh, uh, digital tools? Uh, the second event was a workshop in uh, Dortmund, Theater Dortmund, which uh, created uh, Academy of Digi Digitalitat. Uh, it's a, I think, absolutely unique place where really you have a space, unique infrastructure, and people who strategically work on uh, uh, on their research, uh, not only how to create projects, how to create a new project product with a combination between digital tools and different art, but what they do, they really try to understand which kind of tools are really helpful, uh, which kind of tools necessary to be created for artists, and which new languages for theatre uh, could, uh, could appear if we make the, all this research. So these several tests really give me thinking and, uh, and pushing and real energy to, and I understand that we need uh, we need really to add this dig digitalization process in our uh, platform and we need to have a special program which called digitalization and then at the beginning of quarantine uh, i will try to summarize the problem that we meet so first position it's the impossibility of physical realization of artistic events in particular theater which means very simple thing you can't do what you uh, what you really usually do create uh, in one space with your team uh, theater then lack of experience and skills in using modern technology application devices etc for the implementation of theater projects what it means it means that uh, all of us uh, most of us are not really very deep uh, in, in technical things uh, of course, each, most of the companies has its own technical staff, has its own technical persons who are dealing with uh, more classical uh, tools like light, sound, video, uh, not uh, digital, but also props, stage design. So all these elements already exist. But um, I'm not sure that uh, most of us really has a person who who really professional in uh, uh, understanding how digital tools could be helpful, even simple tools could be helpful for creation for uh, for artists. For theater, I mean, it is artists who act on the stage. So how now person actress man or woman dealing with digitality on stage how now director dealing with this how project managers dealing with this how promotional department dealing with this all these uh, questions are here in this box and the third box is the inability to physically reach the audience this is uh, the reason why we do theater this is the reason why we do art this is meeting with audience meeting with the real people uh mostly in one space 
where we try to build dialogue, where we try to ask complicated questions, where we try to uh, to build links between us, created bridges, yeah? And then we together understand that this opportunity to meet, it's over for not clear time. We don't know when we next time will meet. So this is three box. It's a three key problem which I could describe. We uh, put on the table at the beginning of quarantine. Uh, then we put a goal and uh, umbrella goal for us was uh, one and the core it was to find a digital solutions for cultural theater products so this is the road what we choose and try to go forward and then we in the frame of this umbrella goal we try to have uh, four focuses uh, first focus it's creating a Google Fest based laboratory to find digital solutions for art project what it means? It means that laboratory is an independent product. It's a, a community, it's a team who really focus on, on a long period to make all research, to make all structuring and to create all interfaces, uh, to create system based on digital tools and create finally products. So this is laboratory. It is something that we, we start doing. Second focus is a creation and formation of a new type of connection and communication between audience and theatrical culture product. Which means that if you know that you can't physically meet with your audience, you, not, you need to create absolutely new territory for meeting. And now, and now, of course, it was like digital territory. So you, not, you need to find new tools, new languages and new interfaces for all your activities and uh, uh, to understand how long time it could be a real communication between you and audience. Third focus, integrate audience into the direction of creation and participation of a digital prod product. It means that uh, you not only have passive audience in a digital uh, communication, you not only receive messages or uh, give some uh, uh, some messages to them. It means that you receive a new opportunity to invite, to implement your audience or absolutely new audience, which earlier you can't reach, to your activities. Um, uh, it's a strange, but uh, it's very. It was a really unique period when you, in some way, you could understand that. Uh, now potential of your audience much more bigger than earlier you think. It's not only in our case, we have a small space, so it's 60 person that you could, could buy a ticket and come to your performance. Uh, in, in digital case, you understand that you could work with much more quantity of people uh, di uh, in digital. You could work with 600, 6,000, 60,000 and more. This is what potentially you could do in this uh, direction and focus number four it's a creation it's creating technologies for international theatrical collaboration in digital dimension which means that uh if we talk uh about connection which were exist earlier like festivals where different theater could opportunity to come to meet to present their own art to to make networking to create some collaborative projects international regional or on a local level all these things was earlier uh, digital tools digital technologies gives also this opportunity but now you need to change this uh this way how you build your project you need to change understanding what uh, uh how festival as a big body as a big dimension could exist in a digital uh in a digital uh, territory even is it makes sense to, to do something big in digital in this case. It's much more complicated, it's much more risks, but at the same time you have access to much more bigger quantity of audience and new formats of art. So these four focuses which we try to line through all this period and trying to find answers on this question which we asked at the beginning. And now we go to a second block, it's a project, but not all, but part which I will try to explain all uh, 
uh, all logic how we found this solution, how we built project and how we, uh, which task we, we try to reach. So you see this list. Uh, today we go through all of them shortly. And then if you would like after to go more deeper of some of them, let's do it. So first, again, the basic we say that theater in a new reality uh, uh, came to the territory of digital dimension. So it means uh, that now from 2020, middle from spring until today, uh, most of the theater could do their activities only in, in a digital dimension, which means, which means using digital tools. And first project that uh, 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 were done, uh, it was a project which called Alambari, uh, which meant for us combination between theater, between music, art, uh, and uh, it was a format of simultaneous clip and flash mob. So uh, it's a project which appeared from a logic uh, when you think that, okay, uh, I have some offline products and I would like to, to find a new form for these offline products and make it online. Another logic which you could use, it's you really clear from the beginning that you do unique online product and then the strategy of this project product only existing in digital dimension. So no offline in this case. It's from the beginning till the end, totally online product. And the third way of thinking, you create a digital product, but you from the beginning understand that in perspective, you put this product from online to offline. So you think uh, how to deal with this and how to uh, give life uh, this product offline, more, uh, more usual existing, yeah? Uh, all these three direction, this is the logic how we build project. And as I say, first our prototype, first our test was a project Alambari, which conceptually was uh, a five weeks doing each Sunday uh, one flash mob through all over the world. Um, now you see the, the different point uh, from different cities, which means people connected through application, uh, through open call. Uh, we ask to have for each uh, participant's uh, gadget, so simple tools, your own gadget. It could be smartphone, it could be tablet, uh, it could be even laptop. And then when you register, we sent uh, to these people a uh, scenario. Scenario was built on a 10 steps. And then we have several rehearsal. And after that, we go, we go online and we do uh, 10, uh, 11 minutes online flash mob. But we did it together simultaneously. So you see that... Uh, people from Latin America, from North America, from Africa, from different parts of Europe, from different region of Ukraine, and uh, uh, from Eastern part, all these people were connected simultaneously through uh, uh, application Zoom. And uh, it was, was really interesting meeting, really very interesting experience, how to organize it connection, and at the same time, how people feel itself because most of these people was artists how they uh, their behavior how their consciousness changed when they do something in absolutely unusual uh, uh, situation for them so here you see some evaluation statistic of this project it was 18 countries 47 cities 14 teams uh, 135 participants and here you see uh, absolutely corrected, fixed uh, all cities, 
all countries which were presented in this project. And now we go to the scheme, how we deal with it. The scheme was very simple, honestly. So on a level of uh, uh, technique, you see now the scheme of our first uh, testing, where we have four teams. So uh, for this four teams, we create four conferences in Zoom. It means uh, that each Zoom was split on 12 icons. Uh, for each uh, uh, team, we need a unique laptop. And then all these conferences were connected to one uh, core laptop with a program for streaming. And then we uh, stream this through YouTube and through Facebook for audience. So it was created a special unique landing page where people could see all developing of the project. It's called alambari.org. And it gives possibility for different theatrical communities from different independent artists join and participate. And uh, then you see we become doing more and more bigger. Uh, and our final combination was uh, uh, 10 laptops plus uh, one core. It's ten, uh, nine laptops plus one core. It's 10 laptops. It's uh, 100. 35 participants, and it was absolutely a feeling of airport when you simultaneously coordinate uh, 12 teams uh, as flights. For each team, we add special coordinator from our side, which has unique, a unique connection uh, uh, with a voice. And simultaneously, we did one uh, comment and synchronize each action. Um, the icon, the basic icon which we, we have for this performance was uh, this feeling of boxes of flats where we live. So now you see the picture from our real life. It's a building, it's a room, it's a light, it's a, our, in each room you see person, unique person with unique furniture, unique atmosphere. Uh, and then we try to, to bring this in, in Zoom aesthetic, yeah, Aest uh, Zoom, uh, of course, it's a program, first of all, was, for, was created as application for communication, for business conference, for maybe educational lecture, but it was not created as a focus for art. At the same time, when we look on Zoom from artistic uh, eyes, we, we see some aesthetic, we see some, uh, uh, some lines, some position of camera which create its geometry. So it's something that you, you could feel as artist, yeah. And through this uh, opportunity, through this aesthetic of Zoom, we try to create one landscape of people, one landscape of faces, of, of the moments of life which, which we have together simultaneously. Uh, uh, for this project, we received a diploma. Uh, it was awarded as a prominent digital event in Ukraine, which lasting five weeks in a format of online flash mobs simultaneously with a streaming and shooting of an online music video, uh, which was attended by the largest number of participants and artists with, uh, with the widest, geography, uh, ge widest geographical. So this is something that gives us a improvement that uh, we, uh, with this project, were on the right uh, way. So I mean, we reach our main goal. We receive, uh, we, we make uh, context in which people from absolutely different country uh, could connect it with each self and make links, make opportunity to create something new, some, something new, projects for perspective. This is, was the main value and the reason why we, we go on this direction. Uh, the second project which uh, was uh, created simultaneously, it was a project between uh, 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 Theater Dortmund and Academy of Dortmund of Digitality and Mariupol independent company uh, which called Theatromania. So the conceptual of this project was to make a digital bridge between Mariupol and Dortmund. First, we plan to make a physical performance simultaneously on two stages. One uh, present uh, in Dortmund on stage, one presentation in Mariupol, 
And then we, pull, we plan to add screens and connection on the stage and ask acting uh, actors, it was a young actor, act simultaneously through screens online. Uh, conceptually, it was uh, chosen a text by Romeo and Julieta, which in our case has some uh, 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 vision like Montecchi Campoletti. It's like two generations, two nations, like Germany and Ukraine. And we put this mythology of Romeo and Julieta in a new circumstances and create in some way a new story based on, on a myth but through digital tools. So that's why uh, official title of the performance uh, uh, was Lorenzo.io, which means, if you remember Lorenzo, it was one of the personages uh, uh, from Romeo and Juliet. It was monk uh, who uh, make marriage with Romeo and Juliet. Uh, and Lorenzo.io means like a program uh, uh, in some way like IOS, um, a program in which you could game different uh, mythology. And we propose uh, the story in which children from, uh, from Germany and Ukraine united in a digital platform, Lorenzo.io, choose their myth, Romeo and Julieta, and then choose their personage as game. Uh, from, are you act for Montecchia or you act for Capoletti? And then create a story. So this is, was the basic narrative. Uh, and of course, first our scenario was uh, to make this performance physically, as I say, because it was starting from 2019 project. But when quarantine uh, came, we uh, again, we were on crossroads, what to do? Stop the project, which I'm uh, sure was impossible to do physically, or to find digital solution. And in our case, I think we found a very interesting combination between theater, between game, and between TV. Uh, and the basic, what we created, a real digital bridge between Mariupol and Dortmund. So now you see some icons of aesthetic which were used in, in this uh, uh, performance. Uh, uh, and I could say it was used like three aesthetic. This aesthetic that you see now on screen is a, uh, is a world of gaming. Uh, it, it is a, a world where people uh, use uh, actors uh, 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 appeared, uh, where they choose personage. And you could imagine that all these things were done uh, at their homes. So in one case, uh, we use a, a very interesting technology of movable, very simple, but movable uh, 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 small laboratories with simple gadget and uh, uh, with the help of directors. And in this project, we had uh, two director, co-director, one from German side, it was Rada Radovich, and uh, from uh, Ukrainian side, Anton Telbizov. And these two director, and the rest of the team help children to understand how behave at their homes, which usually not stage, but how to create stage at your home, how to uh, possible to, to use the gadget to create a world around you, to create personage with your face, and how to act when you are, don't have direct reaction from audience. It was really very interesting period of research. The second aesthetic was a documentary. So we asked each participant to make documentary fixation of their lives. And based on this material then was make part of the film connected with, the, with this game story, uh, which honestly, in, in some way is digital artifact of all our uh, feeling of all our uh, uh, understanding of the world in concrete period during the quarantine. So in some way, I could say that it's not only uh, was like art project, it also in some way was a documentary project that helps us to fix it and to create archive uh, digital artifact. And the third position was Zoom. It's a live performance that was acted uh, these artists and their parents, uh, which uh, we ask to join and to support young actors, non-professional actors. 
And all the three uh, elements, game, documentary, and then live performance was done with a, uh, with a streaming on a local TV on, uh, in Mariupol, Mariupol TV. And then parallel, we stream this uh, uh, program to Dortmund, to Germany. And it was also very interesting how to build connection for audience, how to work with languages, because in our case, we have four languages. We have German, we have English, we had uh, Ukrainian, we had Russian. How to build understanding for audience, what's happening, uh, and at the same time to keep the, com uh, the key messages. Um, and uh, after this, uh, you see here some scheme how it, uh, this project was developed, how we deal with a combination of story, how we deal uh, what needs to happen in studio, in flats. Uh, we also did artistic talk after, uh, how to tell the story. So all this scheme uh, visualize the way how we try to find the solution. Uh, how to be try to build all these uh, links between different elements. Then we go to the project number three. It's a project uh, Zoom Time Smoother. Uh, this is a good example of the uh, transmission when you have offline product and then you go to online. Uh, we had this performance and we act this performance online. It was a three hour, 30 minutes performance, three acts, more than 18 actors involved. It, it based on a historical uh, novel of a dark time uh, between Russia, uh, Russian, uh, Poland and uh, uh, Ukraine. Uh, and uh, we try to actualize the story. We act in two languages, Ukrainian and Russian. Uh, and it, as I said, it was offline performance. And then based on this performance, we try to create online theatrical serial. So like we have three series and we try to, to make Zoom theater and act uh, performance in a format of real conference. So it means that people have had the opportunity to choose to be a passive audience or active audience. Uh, we create a schedule. Uh, it was a special um, a model of selling tickets uh, where you could bought abonnement or you could bought a different type of ticket depend on passive or active position. Uh, or just donate and support projects. So it was um, the moment when we, after first two second project, it was th third project, we start to look in uh, how to deal with finance. Is it possible in some way to make any monetization uh, and to do it more systematically? Uh, so this is, was our idea and task for this project. And here you see the scheme, how we try to build uh, financial model and presentational model simultaneously. So you see uh, the core is an actress, uh, act, acting team, with a person which we call VIP, who could join to, to, to see uh, and to, who could join to this conference and see not only the result, but also preparation part. They, in some way, they could see digital backstage. Also, they have, uh, they receive opportunity to talk directly with a playwright, with a director, with a uh, project manager and actor, act, actors, and discuss everything that, uh, uh, or reflection on, on, the, on the performance. The second level was uh, uh, to, to, to be a part of Zoom conference. You see only results. You also have opportunity to, to, to be on artistic talk. Uh, and uh, this was uh, another uh, level of audience. And third level was a passive looking on YouTube where you could just uh, make comments if you would like, and you can't uh, really be connected, only your look uh, on performance and the soul. Uh, and then after, uh, uh, after two seasons, we did two time uh, uh, this serial season, we were invited to a project which called Post West uh, Festival, which also was planned firstly offline, but then 
uh, it, it, it become a big online collaborational story, which initiated of the story was Fergus Bühne uh, from Berlin. Uh, and uh, it was connection between uh, uh, more than uh, 10 or 12 theaters from different parts of, of Europe. Uh, and based on this collaboration, um, we develop uh, a very interesting uh, uh, model how a big platform could become digital, how we could exchange uh, on a macro level. And here you see uh, all partners three which were involved in this project in Fergus Bühne Post-West Festival. You see it's an absolutely different institution from big uh, state theaters to small independent company, but all of them uh, were united with the value of Post-West, of, of thinking of this kind of world of all questions which connected with it. And all of them plan to do its own unique projects and at the same time, horizontal collaboration of theatrical projects. And then we develop a three level of audience. One level was a audience which came physically to Volksbühne as a infrastructure where festival planned to be done. Then the audience who uh, could be uh, a, the core audience of each theater and then audience which only digital which means absolutely no geographical uh, borders it means that you could reach uh, everyone who would like to join to this story and uh, uh, be connected and then we develop this idea uh, uh, in three uh, uh, steps like we have physical performances with physical presence for physical audience which are on the stage then we have a digital performance for physical pre presence for physical audience which uh, based in each theater particip participants uh, and then we have a digital performance with digital connection for all digital audience so this is, was our three circles three radios of absolutely different audience, which means a new uh, way of thinking how you connect it, how you build your promotion, how you, uh, you, you create interface. Because in this case, you need absolutely three parallel and simultaneously synchronized interface for each type of audience. Uh, and then we move to, uh, to the story of uh, uh, example, when you have online projects and then you would like to move with these online projects to offline. I mean, uh, a very simple technology in our case, when we did uh, installation, movable installation with different digital tools, which uh, travel with a festival, Google Fest in different region. And then, uh, when we work with different size-specific space, we adapt this interactive installation for audience. And this installation, in some way, is a key uh, to give audience uh, a first step on the territory of digitality. Uh, the same story. We now, when we're more strong in digital understanding how it could work, we're ready to communicate with audience non not only about uh, not only like present product, we we also ready to explain how it works. We also ready to to give different point of views how you could test it, how you could degustate it, how you could interact with it. And digital hall is about this. So it, it, at the same time, educational promotional project because it's present all prototypes which were created during the laboratory period, but at the same time. It's a real instrument that gives audience and other artists to do art uh, online, offline, simultaneously here and now. So this is how it works. And here you see our first presentation in the city of Kherson. It was a, a closed factory. Uh, and we did uh, in one of the big hall, uh, uh, this visualization of uh, uh, digital projects. The second story was in the city Dnipro. It's a very interesting building. Nowadays, it's a Dnipro Contemporary Center Art, DCCC. 
uh, and it is a building with more than 100 history. And we try to use old hall, which is still in the process of rebuilding, and to, to put to this archive space, uh, archaic space, uh, these digital tools and try to connect future and uh, past in the present moment. So this is the way how we try to organize. And here you see our last uh, presentation in the city of Mariupol, in the local house of culture, uh, which now revitalized, revitalized, revitalized in, a, in a multidisciplinary center of contemporary art, Hotel Continental. And this is the entrance hall, which usually used only for waiting as a waiting room or some uh, uh, and security. And that's all. We try to use the space for for art and for for discussion and for 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 this new communication. And here you see example how this space usually organized. We use uh, uh, approximately 8, 10, 12 uh, video beamer. Uh, we use all uh, walls, floors, and uh, ceiling. And then with a, a, with a uh, light of beamer, we try to build one body of video projection uh, which give this feeling of 360 degrees panorama. Plus we add uh, quality sound on a different level and we put also gadgets uh, on a special uh, lamps which give opportunity people uh, to, to act with this space in a simple way. So this is three, uh, three um, te techniques which gives possibility to connect everything and to build one uh, space for, for different activities. And then one of the projects that was uh, experiment in this space was a new combination between theater and fashion. It was collaboration between uh, very interesting and in some way unique design bureau, uh, fashion bureau Finch uh, in Ukraine with a, a Swiss uh, visual artist Mariana Hollenstein which is independent artist and Google Fest, and we did performance set, visual set where uh, Finch created unique uh, clothes which were presented during this event. Uh, and Mariana, through online, created a visual space and painted uh, uh, all clothes and painted all uh, uh, walls. Uh, but it was done on a distance. So Mariana stay in Bern, in uh, in Swiss, uh, and we did this project in Dnipro. So in some way, it was connection. A digital bridge was created. A digital bridge between Switzerland and Ukraine, uh, and simultaneously we create uh, this performance. Plus, what was really interesting. It was simultaneous streaming, which means that audience has uh, the people who come has absolutely new position, new position how to be in this space. What I mean, I mean that when you came to the space and you see this performance, in some way you do these things. You look on performance, and you see with your real, uh, with your own eye, what happening in the space, and you could look everywhere because everywhere uh, each. Uh, walls were involved, but at the same time, you look on a clean uh, uh, picture in a streaming, and you could compare. It gives absolutely uh, interesting combination in your co consciousness of uh, when you are looking, uh, how it connected. You really start to think how it was organized. You really see this performing part of it, because if you look on the right, you see um, it's a company, Finch, which makes streaming uh, simultaneously. They have earphones, uh, earphones um, in their ears without cables, and they comment simultaneously to the model how to change uh, body. And also they connected with uh, uh, Mariana, with a visual artist, and it create the uh, what the the key message. It's create absolutely horizontal 
performing art process. It means there are no one director who uh, deal and say what are you doing. It means that now audience see how performers here and now do art, create art with all risks that could happen with the technical tools, uh, but at the same time with all opportunities which could happen now with these new tools. So I think it was um, first time when I could say that I see how audience change their position uh, in uh, in connected in, where, to be connected with this uh, um, performance set. And here you see again how we organize this model. This is Swiss room. We have a studio where was necessary technique. Uh, we have Dnipro uh, site-specific space, and again we connected everything, make a, a script of several steps, and the rest was improvisation, live uh, horizontal collaboration between uh, a fashion artist and a visual artist. The next step, uh, it is a project that uh, become of, uh, that starting point was from digital residency. Uh, it's a collaboration between Ukraine and Switzerland. Uh, it's a real collaboration, collaboration because from each part was involved different artists, drama artists which act on the stage, stage designer, sound designer, light designer. Uh, uh, the material was created also together, uh, like four person work as a dramaturgy on it. Uh, and uh, it was project where we did two products simultaneously. We create offline and we create online and we propose audience uh, one day to see offline, next day to see online, and then you have this puzzle connected. You see the final result only after you look uh, two products step by step. You have opportunity. You could see first digital, then online, or Opposite, you start from online, but then you see digital. But uh, recommendation and most promotion was built that it is necessary to see both of uh, them. Uh, and see, here you see also the way how we adapted it. We have the scene. Uh, we have people who act without any gadgets. We have people who act on the scene with gadgets. The material that people act on the scene was partly used for stage design on a scene, but also partly used for a streaming material. Plus, we create absolutely new icon with a special camera uh, for each scene. So if you see this product, you could see absolutely two different aesthetic, two different format uh, when you see offline and online. In some way, you could think that it is different production. but then. When you understand the key, you, you could really enjoy absolutely different point of view on, a, on a, the same activity. Uh, the, sa the next step, what we did, it's a Google Lab. It's our promotional lecture laboratory where we make different digital lectures for people. Uh, and uh, we ask them um, uh, to, uh, for, it was oriented on audience who, would like to know more deeper how we create digital arts and how uh, which opportunity you as audience could receive when you connect with that. And we did se seven lectures, zero to six, on a different topic. Partly today I tried to summarize it. Partly it was at the end of uh, 2020. So uh, uh, we create now more projects which are not already in this lecture. A laboratory uh, and our next product when we understand that uh, uh, we change our consciousness was to create a digital repertoire so what I mean I mean uh, uh, before I talk about independent product projects before I talk about prototypes which we try to research how to deal with it how to connect it theater with different fields of art, like fashion, like books, like flash mob, music, uh, etc. Uh, then we understand that we're ready for our uh, phase two, for our step number two, to create a digital repertoire which could be 
uh, as a system. It, it, it could have its own repertoire and it could have its own model of promotion and uh, of sales. So it means in some way in, in the situation when you can't act totally offline, we understand we, that now we, until uh, to the end of 2020, we are really ready to act repertoire online. And we are ready to do it simul uh, systematically each month for for long period if it will be necessary and one of the projects from this period was creation a combination between uh, theater contemporary opera contemporary music and digitality and we create a new icons new aesthetic of uh opera which called uh, uh which called zaratustra and it was a very interesting experience not only uh, how to work with video, but it was our first serious experience how to work online with a sound, how really to make a quality streaming sound and uh, mixing of sound connected with video and do final product for, for the audience. This is, was something that uh, Orla, we don't know, we didn't know, and uh, then we, we, we were ready to, 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 to uh, to go on this uh, floor and to to understand all mechanisms, and then we create a long-term project we called digital book degustation. It was combination between literature. It, it was again combination with visual art, but now we were connected with different artists from Ukraine, from different region, and from the uh, Europe. And the idea was simple that people actors perform a little text, part of the text of the books, uh, uh, and visual artists create online different visual, visuals for, for as reaction on acting, as reaction on text. And then we start to invite different composers who created also music uh, as reaction. So in some way, we have a triangle horizontal collaboration between people, between different artists, absolutely online at the same time based in different countries and uh, this project was big we did more than 180 texts and now we have official landing page uh Gefeles the book degustation where you have uh, more than six uh, digital libraries you could choose different uh, different uh, texts and you could see ev evolution of aesthetic how it looks also, we did some uh, exclusive uh, uh, promotional video for Drahoman Prize, which a new uh, uh, awards for tran foreign translator of Ukrainian in the world. And we did different podcasts uh, with a good quality, which could be also just work for as a sound. So, I mean, this project finally creates more than five different products. Uh, Podcast, sound podcast, uh, online streaming sets, offline live uh, digital sets, um, different uh, videos, and digital libraries. And this is what really was unexpected at the end of this road. Um, the scam, the same. We have uh, uh, ah, and the number four, which was really also interesting tested here it's titling we start to work uh, online with a titling in zoom in different language so it means that you need also to implement in the process translation adaptation of the uh, titles put a person who synchronized with all acting and could react very fast with a text on all uh, uh, performance during uh, the uh, uh, the presentation and uh, then we come to uh, step number three, phase, phase three, in which we, uh, we close our laboratory to a very uh, close community. Uh, and six last months, we, we, we did very scrupulous laboratory research. We called it uh, uh, to find a new digital language new digital alphabet for theater and in this uh, 
a laboratory, we create a production which called Alone Digital Odyssey, which now you could see, uh, you could have uh, opportunity to see offline. Uh, this is project uh, which uh, uh, were done together with ATC communi uh, community network, uh, uh, partly supported. And this uh, project, uh, it is in some way uh, some evaluation, some our new answer, which kind of theater could exist now. And based on this project, uh, now we start create new performances with absolutely new aesthetic. Um, shortly to say, we, we have two rooms for audience, and in one room, people could see, uh, we called it kitchen. People could see everything that connected with creation, with the process of creation. So people see how we do, how we create world. And in another room, people see results. They see uh, the the final uh, icon what created. Usually, uh, you never know when, uh, in which room you will see first, in the first room or in the second. That's why you have absolutely new, different experience of understanding what's happening. And that's why we add uh, uh, the next uh, uh, act, we call it artistic uh, talk, when we talk with people and compare these different uh, experience and uh, uh, it is usually very interesting that people say absolutely opposite reaction and opposite uh, feeling. And after when they have all collage together, uh, uh, it, it creates absolutely new reaction. Uh, uh, another story, it was an uh, interesting project, Enter the Lab, that we did with our different European colleagues. It's leading with Madeleine Bongard actress, pedagogue, and director from uh, Switzerland. And we did in Mariupol online workshop based on digital room where I could see absolutely new perspective for development. This is when you could invite pedagogues through all over the world from different uh, knowledges, drama, circus, dance, uh, physical theater, puppet theater, absolutely everything could work in it. A visual artist, a sound artist, and you have people in the room, and you could connect all these people simultaneously for creation, for exchanging their knowledges, and for simultaneous, simultaneous testing of different fields of art. And last cases that I would like to say uh, from digital part, it's a, in some way, evaluation of everything that I say. It's a project that, from my point of view, uh, 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 is really worth attention. It's a project, it's a theatrical manifest between uh, uh, theaters uh, of Europe. It's more than uh, uh, 18, uh, 22 theaters from 18 countries, more than 250 artists involved. It's a project which called Renaissance. It's uh, uh, 22 videos which were created during the quarantine. And in some way, it's a project that really represents uh, theaters and gives a uh, voice of different theater as one collective body uh, to say that we are here, we continue uh, doing what we uh, usually do, and we, we united in all challenges that we have now. And uh, from our side, from Dach Theater and Google Fest, we participated from a video which called also Renaissance. It's a new video uh, based on music of Dacha Bracha, Sonnet Shakespeare, 66, uh, and new texts which were created by Vlad Troitsky. And it's, uh, uh, again, example of some new digital alphabet how we see opportunity to develop in perspective. Another short story, uh, just several examples how to keep links. We have another collaboration with British Council of Ukraine and Google Fest. It is uh, five U UK directors who plan to work with five uh, theaters, different theaters in Ukraine, and quarantine make impossible to come physical of this director. 
but all this uh, residency, most of them was uh, transferred in Zoom rehearsals. And five theaters created five different prototypes, draft of the performances, work in process. And now you see one of the example of it. It's a project between uh, uh, UK director Joyce Day Jones and uh, Mariupol young non-professional non teams based on documentary research on topic of uh, uh, of uh, Mariupol, its ecology, its uh, war, its uh, 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 how to build society, how to trust in society, and these things anyway happen. These things really uh, uh, argument why all theaters need to continue to do what they do because for people who involved in these projects honestly it was a real chance uh, to continue belief and to to receive opportunity to to say from the stage offline or online the value which they would like to share so from my point of view and from the laboratory point of view it's something that we're really ready to support really the reason and energy why we do what we uh what we're trying to do and uh yeah here uh, thank you for your attention it is not all information that we have but maybe it's something that makes sense now to stop and try to to go deep in in uh, uh what what we could do thank yeah you. Thank you, Andre. It really, it really sounds amazing. And I just can say, wow, it's so many projects. And I have a few questions mm -hmm. uh, about um, your project. So uh, you tried so many formats and uh, uh, when the world will uh, came back to normal life, what formats you will took to your uh, regular practices and what you will refuse from? Uh, what is the mm -hmm. best practices you find? Yeah, as I say, uh, it's absolutely important question because at the same time, when beginning of the quarantine, you ask, you you have this crossroad, what to do, uh, to do more classical story and maybe stop, reload, or to try to find a new tools. Today, when we see that it's more opportunity to, to return to offline at the same crossroad. From our side, I could say that it's part of our strategy. As I say, we have this line that part of online product was created with understanding that when it will be possible, they will go offline. And digital room, uh, several performances, we, we already transform it in on, on offline format we did several tours visit through our regional festival. So this is line we will continue. Another story, as I say, we have this uh, step number three in our laboratory. So we have this understanding of creation, new aesthetic, new digital alphabet, and we will continue this research and create new uh, format of art, not only theater, simultaneously offline, online. So it means that uh, my answer will, will be that we will do two parallel uh, scenario uh, simultaneously. Plus, we have more than uh, uh, 10 different uh, web paging connecting in one uh, system, which is a real archive of digital uh, activities. And it's continuous uh, collecting. So I mean... We continue to revitalize everything that we did before. So today I present only part of it. Information much more bigger. So uh, this is what we, we do as the next uh, our three steps. Uh, microphone. Uh, so and uh, yesterday we had a very interesting discussion about monetization of the contact. Uh, you uh, just uh, talk about some um, mechanism you used to involve the audience yeah. and uh, uh, are, uh, how you find other people able to pay money for online contact was the successful, uh, were your practices successful and uh, um, how it works. Mm -hmm. If it's okay, I will share again screen uh, shortly uh, because it will be maybe 
best answer. So now I will. Uh, uh, did you see? Yeah. Okay. Um, I will answer on different level. Uh, so first, I would like to say, uh, as uh, uh, institution, uh, we have understanding of uh, monetization and uh, of uh, a quantity of people who look. So we have two criteria. One criteria, uh, it is how much people look because when you go on such streaming platform like video, uh, like YouTube, Vimeo, etc., even Facebook, you you at the same time uh, become the same video as exists already on this platform. So it means uh, that you need to work with the rules which already exist in this platform. And YouTube, you know how much successful videos which quantity of viewers has so from my point of view other most uh, uh, most uh, high level uh, of viewing was uh, nearly 90 uh, thousand viewers it's uh, something from alambari story uh, the rest was it could be 1000 it could be less, it could be 10,000. It really depends on type of project and how you build promotion. If we talk about monetization, we have several uh, option tests. Uh, we, we check different price. We put different hypothesis. For example, uh, if physical ticket could cost uh, to, to go to the theater, uh, 100 grimness, 500 grimness, 1,100 grimness. It really depends diversity from different theater. Um, for digital, when you know that people are not ready to pay so much for, for videos because they anyway recognize it as video. We had hypothesis that, for example, one cup, cup of coffee, one uh, set, digital set. So it's like 25 grimness, 50 grimness, something like this, yeah? But also, when you have unique proposition, you could ask more. But uh, I propose to look on this question from another optic, from optic of uh, industry. And from our side and from uh, our point of view, uh, we feel that really industry in, uh, and different players need to have several platforms, digital platforms for, for collaboration and presentation. And now I will show you very shortly uh, some model which we start developed through the quarantine. It's, we could say it's a cultural private business uh, uh, collaboration. It's something, uh, uh, something that already exists. It's platform 211 floor. And it's our partners, which uh, partly support us in streaming our activities. And it was first prototype. But conceptually, it looks like this. Um, so we have idea of combination between live streams and live content uh, on one digital platform. And it means that uh, uh, architecturally, you create, as an IT programmist, you, you create different digital rooms uh this proposition could work for b2b and b2c so it means that uh it's simultaneously proposition for business who uh for business i mean for companies who are ready to produce digital art and b2c it's for customers for audience who are really ready to consume uh, this digital art so there are no any one platform which really oriented simultaneously on both of this direction. And if we imagine that such kind of uh, platform client oriented uh, appeared, uh, it could have different interface for each, uh, uh, for each client, for client as a customers. It could sell tickets, it could sell abonnements, it could sell different levels of access to the rooms. It could sell time of presence in this room. For B2B, it could be different rooms which like rent uh, for showing your digital art. 
or you have live promotional art which is free but it is as a marketing or promotional strategy etc so i mean it, it creates different opportunities and then you understand that you could do absolutely different art you could do workshops you could do festivals you could do degustation lectures concert performance exhibition etc all this you could unite it uh, in this uh, lab in this um, a platform and only after that i could say it will be like one market digital market where you could really create monetization uh, this is the scenario which we we see as a future step for industry not only for us it's impossible to do alone. It's only collective cre creation sector uh, story. Thank you, Andre. We have a question uh, from our audience. Um, uh, Veronica asks uh, how to become a part of LSD laboratory. It is uh, uh, ongoing now. So is it open structure? Do you invite people to participate or you work inside your team just? Uh, it's a good question uh, uh, because for different projects, it's different uh, situation. I, I show this example of taking the stage, which were in between different theaters, yeah? And it was showing like tools was used, uh, the same tools to help the residency. But at the same time, it was like closed project because part of the theater was chosen uh, through recommendation. It was open call of uh, directors and it was one collaboration story. For Alambari, for example, it was absolutely open story. Uh, it was uh, open for everyone who just have the gadget and would like to participate. Alone or Renaissance project, it was really very close project because um, I could say uh, uh, we understand for more complicated structure, we need really people who prepare to go in this direction. That's why I could say that in laboratory, I, uh, we will have several next model of collaboration. One of the models we plan to do school uh, through open call for two types of uh, actors and technique. One, it's people who would like, it will be like, uh, you you will buy this abonnement for school. It will be concrete frame on time, and you go as a non-professional with the aim just to understand how it works, to understand are you like it or not like. I would like to continue it or not. So it like promotional, uh, uh, more promotional story. Second labor laboratory, it will be very concrete for to find artists. Uh, actors who really ready to change their consciousness and uh, model of acting because now the actors with whom we work it's a one year preparation these actors simultaneously not only drama actor or body uh, actor or voice actor they also ready to work with the gadgets they know how it works they know how to deal with the position of their body with uh, uh, gadget they know how how system work and they ready for more complicated task so we will open uh, we will do open call for to make a team of such type of uh, actors who really would like to educate and for long-term relationship and then we will do a, a laboratory for technique. For technique, it could be different field, light, sound, etc. But uh, visual artist, uh, but technique who would like really to go to digitality and create different arts. Uh, and then through this networking uh, a, a school, we will ch create several teams for different projects which will be held during the festival as a collaboration between different groups. So this is our way how we, we plan to do uh, with the uh, developing of community around LCD. If we talk about partnership between institutions, it's another story. Uh, we have several negotiations with different IT companies uh with different proposition for industry for institution level for artist level and for audience level 
we have uh, negotiation with different culture companies with whom we already work uh, to continue new experiment so i could say it's uh, more looks like creation ecosystem there are no uh, one rules how it could be it's it's simultaneously open and closed because it's really depend on a uh, projects on a uh, aim and on a uh, uh, resources that you have in each uh, scenario. Microphone. Thank you, yeah. Andre. Uh, so we have one question uh, to all participants, but maybe you have uh, uh, the answer uh, to the uh, one uh, of our uh, participants ask about whether you know uh, if uh, it will be some of online festivals in nearest time. Maybe you have some inf information and you can share with uh, our group. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, uh, I, uh, it was several online events, big events already. For example, maybe two weeks before it was a theatrical time festival, which is the hugest theatrical platform, media platform with more than 60,000 subscribers. You could find this page in Facebook, Theatre Times, and Project Renaissance which I take uh, talk before with ATC was participate uh, in this uh, festival. As I remember, it is annual online festival. So they, you could apply, you could be as audience. So it's one story. Another story, it was several ideas like to create a Ukrainian digital showcase. It was one of the drafts that we start talk at the beginning of year and i think it's absolutely uh very interesting uh, scenario very complicated but really very interesting and could be very helpful for industry because um, uh to participate in such type of festival you really need to be prepared you need to be prepared ready to communicate with international audience you really need to have quality of uh, interface of all your web pages so i mean it's extra work and not so much uh communities i mean theatrical communities really oriented on it so it's not only question to do or not to do online festival we could do uh, in between region online festival you know but the question more online for me it's more really international access international bridges and to open uh countries to each other so i think it's absolutely logical strategically to do a different online pl platform uh, in perspective another story i could say uh, how we deal with a festival google fest because in our plan we have another solution we do this site specific big outside events as answer on quarantine but at the same time we have model of digital festival we we have this plan c if for example absolutely impossible to do offline event we're ready to transform big festival body to online festival with a with a selling ticket with a uh, access to the audience uh, etc so i mean it, it's uh, uh, it's something that i think already changed industry if you are a theatrical manager if you are curator or uh, institutional manager uh, you should think about combination between online offline this is the future Three. Uh, i have a proposal to finalize conversation you're a brilliant speaker and it's very nice that you agreed to join us but i think we have give a few minutes to prepare for next team and to our participants to make a cup of tea because they will start for some seven minutes and maybe people need some break so thank you very much yeah. If uh, uh, Anastasia, thank you for invitation and to creation of this event. I know that it was not easy also and fast, but I think you, you really make this uh, uh, important mission of connection and uh, may, uh, to creation possibility to sharing and exchanges. This is uh, also 
really important for industry that such kind of thing happening. And just last uh, last thesis, if someone uh, really uh, would like to know more deep, I just show you uh, several links where you could see uh, more or find contact in which you could uh, receive uh, another information about all our activities. So you see here is a big uh, article in English, very fresh. It's called How Experimental Dark Theatre Embodied the Art in Digital Space. It is, uh, was done by Irina Suprunik on Tech Ukraine. So uh, here, uh, the same what I tell today, uh, uh, more structured, more uh, with more detailed context and with a statistic. So you easily could understand uh, all lines, all links uh, here and strategy for the future. So if you would like to know it, please use this article. And another important uh, interface, it's our main gefe.lsd.org. It's a main uh, uh, page for where we collect all digital prototypes. So these two interfaces uh, could give you a possibility to see all our next steps and to ask questions if you would like to ask uh, more private. Thank you, Andrei. I have sent yeah. a link to the article to the chat and people can... Oh, uh, super. Thank you very much.